I don't believe in taking any medicine, just so you know, um, only natural supplements. My response to that is, tell me the difference. I mean, there is a difference, but I just want to make sure you as the consumer of this understand the difference. So today we're hitting a topic, which is one we get asked about a lot, which is supplements. We tried to pick ones that we get asked about a lot for the case studies, which is creatine. There's reasonable evidence to suggest, and again, we'll we'll link to lots of it, that, that creatine does help improve various parameters of muscle performance. And it's not that subtle. I mean, it's typically in the range of five, 10, maybe even 15%. Fish oil. Yeah, I mean, obviously you have have to watch out for poor quality rancid supplements. They're, they are unfortunately common. The smaller the fish, the better. Vitamin D. In other words, it's not easy for me to say, Nick, if you go outside today with your shirt off for 20 minutes, it's the equivalent of taking this much vitamin D. B vitamins. These are typically more associated with B12 injections rather than oral supplements. We tend to just rely on oral uh, supplementation. You get a more smoothed out dose. Ashwagandha. So it's, it's like an evergreen shrub that has historically been used in traditional Indian medicine for a variety of indications uh, such as sleep, stress, immune health, but I, I hope that people can use this framework liberally as they try to kind of adjudicate and interrogate their own supplement list.